What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another breaking news story. And apparently, Australian Open is going to be played in February. It's going to be uh, announced, hopefully, in the next couple of days. The schedule for the Australian summer, of course, uh, a lot of tournaments are under a cloud. ATP Cup, we don't know what's happening with that. The tournaments in Brisbane, Adelaide, and Hobart apparently have been moved to Melbourne. So there's going to be lead-in tournaments, perhaps, at those events. Uh, this all comes because we have a 14-day quarantine period for all tennis players coming into Australia, and no tennis players are allowed to enter the country before the 1st of January. So December was the day that everyone was, or the, the month everyone was supposed to come into. That's not happening anymore. Players are not allowed to enter before the 1st of January. So John Wertheim on Twitter has said that Australian Open word is coming soon, but here in the most likely scenario, January the 5th, to the seventh travel period for the players, which means that the ATB Cup is going to be doomed, and then they start their 14 day quarantine period, stuck in a hotel, not allowed to play tennis, not allowed to go out on court. January 25th is the week where the qualifiers are going to start, plus tour events. So that's lead in tournaments, maybe Brisbane, which is going to happen in Melbourne, Adelaide, and Hobart, which have all been re relocated. Those can happen, lead in tournaments, and then the February the 1st is the start of the 128-player draw for the men and the women. Uh, no word on doubles. I think Juniors has already been cancelled, but that is from John Wertheim. I have to wait and see with the Australian Open. They have to get the word out. So it looks likely the Australian Open are going to make a decision in the next couple of days, possibly the next couple of hours. We'll have to wait and see. We'll bring a video out for that when they bring out an official statement. But most likely, Australian Open played in February, which is a better situation than being played in March, which will clash with big tournaments, or even April. But it's still... Begs the question, who's coming to Australia? Remember the US Open? A lot of players didn't play the US Open. Rafa didn't play the US Open. And that's a lot closer to Europe than Australia. Australia's the other side of the world. Who's not going to play this tournament? It could be a few dropouts. We could get people like, you know, Simona Halep. We could get, you know, Rafa not playing. There's a lot of players that might not want to make the trip because it's just not worth it. They come out here, they stay in a hotel for 14 days. It benefits the Aussies, Ash Barty, Nick Kyrgios, the players that are already here, they're gonna love that because they don't have to quarantine. But it's the players that have to come from halfway across the world to sit in a hotel for 14 days, to maybe play a, a lead-in event, to maybe play the Australian Open. I mean, it puts a big cloud over a lot of tournaments. Obviously the ATP Cup, that looks like it's not gonna happen now. We'll talk about that if it does get canceled, in fact. Of course, we know Auckland, for the men and the women has already been cancelled. It got cancelled in early October. So tournaments already been cancelled for 2021. And maybe the ATP Cup is the next one, but it looks like the Australian Open is going to be played 1st of Feb.